because we were all uh, living with hope and uh, uh, and it is always difficult to talk after sharola but uh, the i'll try my best the genetics of macular dystrophy retinitis pigmentosa and uh, diabetic retinopathy i have no financial interest so as uh, uh, sharola showed that boy i think the same i don't know whether the same child they brought the child to the ro on the last day two, two years back uh, and then he addressed the ro gathering and i think the uretna award was also for the genetic work on retina uh, in london doing their retina mating so the eye has had a pivotal role in the evolution of human genomics and at least 90% of the genes in the human genome are expressed in one or more of the eye's many tissues and cell types at some point during a person's life and i think uh, even it has been mentioned that genetics uh, the playground of genetics is in eye so the macular dystrophy is characterized by progressive central visual loss and degeneration of the macula and underlying retinal pigment epithelium of the eye and uh, you have the stargardt's disease and the fundus flavi macularis stargardt's dystrophy is the most common hereditary macular dystrophy and accounts for 7% of all retinal dystrophies and typically patients present with a decreased central vision usually in the first or second decade of life and characterized by bilateral atrophic changes in the macular degeneration of the underlying retinal pigment epithelium and the presence of prominent yellow white flecks in the posterior pole the the locus of a uh, stgd ffm was mapped to gene abca4 on chromosome 1p and abca4 is involved in atp dependent transport of retinoid from photoreceptor to rpe and failure of this transport results in deposition of major lipophysis in fluorophore a to e in the rpe secondary photoreceptor uh, degeneration happens an autosomal dominant stargardt like macular dystrophy the two chromosomal loci have been identified 6q stgd3 and 4p stgd4 and gene elovl4 have been associated with stgd3 and pattern dystrophy the best disease the vitelliform macular dystrophy patients are found to have bilateral macular lesions at a very young age and typical fundus finding including a yellow egg yolk like appearance of the macula and the vmd2 gene on chromosome 11q is responsible for maintaining chloride conductance across the retinal pigment epithelium and its defect leads to accumulation of fluid and or debris leading to detachment and sensory photoreceptor degeneration Uh, dr sharola mentioned about the uh, video which is there in the internet which i'll uh, show you regarding the the star guards which they have done for sufferers of hereditary blindness there may be a for sufferers of hereditary blindness there may be a light at the end of the tunnel Two experimental trials have shown that gene therapy could one day cure a rare form of blindness that affects about 2000 Americans. The research teams tested the treatment on a total of 6 patients. Here you can see how they performed the eye surgery. Repair genes were injected into the eye of this young visually impaired patient. The eye was infused with air, then reinfused with fluid near the end of the surgery. To measure the patient's performance before and after the treatment, he was guided through an obstacle course. Here you can see how he navigated through the maze prior to the surgery. He bumped into obstacles 6 times and was disoriented twice. It took him 77 seconds to finish the course. 6 months after the treatment, the patient showed a dramatic improvement. He was able to make his way through the maze in 14 seconds without bumping into anything or getting disoriented. He was one of four patients that showed an improvement. The treatment also proved to be safe, which has not been the case with previous gene therapy trials. So there there is a as, a, as a Sharala put in the last slide there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that's a, one of the reason I'm interested in genetics in ophthalmology is because uh, whenever the uh, gene therapy can be done and it's most often for the macular problem it will be a subretinal uh, placement of the either the stem cells or the, the gene vectors and that's where my interest is and i hope one day we'll be able to treat all these semi blind people or good people who are having low vision and the other autosomal dominant disorders are adult vitelli form macular dystrophy pattern dystrophy doin horn honeycomb retinal dystrophy autosomal dominant drusen and macular degeneration 
North Carolina macular dystrophy, progressive bi bifocal choroidal atrophy, SOS B fundus uh, dystrophy, central areolar choroidal dystrophy, dominant cystoid macular dystrophy. And the X-linked uh, juvenile retinal crisis is a vitreoretinal degeneration which presents either in an infant with nystagmus or more commonly in child, uh, childhood with mild loss of central vision. And the characteristic fundus abnormality is a cystic spoke wheel like maculopathy, four wheel skysis in virtually all affected males. Prognosis is good in most affected males as long as retinal detachment or vitreous hemorrhage does not occur. And XLRS has been linked to gene XLRS1, also re recently referred to as RS1. And it is implicated in cell to cell the addition and cell to matrix interaction which correlate well with the observed splitting of the retina in XLRS. Mitochondrial inheritance, the mitochondrial DNA mutation may be associated with a severe encephalopathy with death at a young age. And macular pattern dystrophy has been found in association with the MIDD. And as the prevalence of MPD in MIDD is high, the association of a MPD with diabetes should raise the possibility of screening for a mutation of mitochondrial DNA. The genetics of uh, diabetic retinopathy, and I think in developed countries, the increase in diabetic population would be around 42%, and developing countries, particularly in India, it is even higher, that is about 150%. The potential genes involved, the angiotensin 1 converting enzyme, angiotensin 2 type 1 receptor, angiotensin uh, tensinogen, vascular endothelial growth factor, aldose reductase uh, and receptor for advanced glycation and products, and a glucose transfer portrait, inducible nitric oxide uh, synthesis and transforming growth factor beta, endothelium isoform and its cellular receptors, intercellular addition molecule, beta-3 adrenergic receptor zone, uh, hemochromatosis and alpha-2 beta-1 integrin, insulin-like growth factor and tumor necrosis factor. The uh, aldose reductase, uh, it has been strongly implicated in the pathogenesis of uh, microaneurysms and degeneration of retinal pericytes. Z2 is a high-risk allele for diabetic retinopathy, especially proliferative diabetic retinopathy and maculopathy in Indian patients. And high vitreous levels have been repeatedly detected in eyes of patients of proliferative diabetic retinopathy and diabetic uh, macular edema, where, where the chromosome 6P12, which has a vascular endothelial growth factor. So uh, hence, VEGF inhibition has been shown to ameliorate retinal changes, including retinal nevascularization and breakdown of the blood retinal barrier. Angiotensin converting enzyme, a recent independent meta-analysis suggested that ACE insertion deletion may be associated with the PDR under dominant genetic model assuming either fixed or random effects. Autoantibodies to glutamic acid decarboxylase show an inverse relationship with retinopathy. Protective mutations in the Asian Indian population, aldose reductase alleles 200 and 220 BP protect from developing retinopathy. Uh, SER82 allele in the receptor for AGE gene is a low risk allele for developing diabetic retinopathy in Asian Indian patients who have type 2 diabetes. And PD, PEDF gene molybdenum showed modest association with absence of diabetic retinopathy. The uh, retinitis pig pigmentosa, it can be inherited in autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive or X-linked manner and it is in all forms of genetic uh, uh, transmission. And the summary of genes associated with the RP, which is there in the net. And then the DNA testing is available on a clinical basis. And uh, therapies for the genetic eye disease, the discovery that ABCA4 is involved in transporting vitamin A derivatives out of outer segment dis lead to the discovery that vitamin A inhibitors such as fenritinin inhibit the accumulation of lipofuscin in animal models of Stargardt's disease. The identification of the role of VEGF in CNVM led to the development of therapeutic antibodies to combat the major blinding complication of age-related macular degeneration. Growth factors and neuroprotective agents have also been used to reduce rate of an apoptic response to inherited cellular abnormalities. In recent years, gene replacement therapy, therapeutic stem cells and retinal processes have also been moved to the threshold of clinical use for the treatment of genetic eye disease. The mechanism of gene transfer, you have the adenovirus vectors, adeno-associated virus vectors, herpes simplex virus vectors, RNA virus vectors, physiochemical gene transfer, lipofection, and others. So lipid-mediated gene transfer, the adenoviral gene transfer, electroporation, and retroviral gene transfer. So the therapeutic approaches in uh, retinal diseases, you have the 
ribosome therapy, antisense therapy, suicide gene therapy, growth factor therapy, and gene replacement therapy. So to conclude, widespread application of linkage analysis and mutation detection techniques has helped. Complex underlying pathology has now been revealed. An improved knowledge of the uh, mechanisms of the underlying molecular genetics has raised the potential for future development of rational therapeutic uh, uh, regimes. Also, it has helped to refine uh, diagnosis, disease classification, and prognosis, and improved genetic counseling. And, and, and uh, Dr. Sundaresan is here, and uh, he's a part of the Asian Eye Genetics Consortium. And uh, we have Dr. Radhika Tandon and Dr. Namrata from Orindi Institute. We have Dr. John Prakash in the center and Dr. Takeshi. So the, Dr. Takeshi is the director of the National Institute of Sense Organs in Tokyo, Japan. And we have an MOU with him. And his dream is to identify all the genes responsible for the ophthalmic conditions, not only retina, the entire ophthalmic. And then he says that his target is five years. And I hope once you find that, and there will be people working on the therapy. And as Sharala said, there is a still light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you.